Amidst the hustle and bustle of preparing for the fourth Starship launch, SpaceX once again surprises us by unveiling a new piece of Starship hardware. It's predicted to be a part of Starship V2. So what is that? Is SpaceX actually building Starship V2 now? And what can we expect from Starship V2? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. On April 2nd, there was the appearance of two new ring sections outside the Star Factory. Well, can you guess what they are? It's really fascinating could be a part of the next iteration of Starship. We can see that they differ from the current design. Firstly, there's a difference in the number of rings. Now the cargo section of Starship consists of five rings. But looking at the picture, we can only see three to four rings, indicating a reduction. It's predicted that SpaceX is shortening the cargo section to build a longer Starship. Next, the dispenser was cut with a round seam instead of a solid ring as before. The reason for this change is unclear, but it might be because the dispenser has been relocated lower than its previous position on the payload compartment. This design change is predicted to potentially facilitate the loading and unloading of cargo and create favorable conditions for deploying payloads more easily. In addition to the potential change, another significant alteration is the dispenser in the cut shape. Previously, it had an angular shape, but now it's been modified into a rounded shape. This adjustment is believed to be more compatible with the newer, more advanced reinforcement parts on the ship, allowing for upgrades while still ensuring sturdy integration. Just beneath this dispenser cutout, there's another cutout for the access hatch. If this hatch is indeed positioned directly below the dispenser, it indicates that it's been relocated higher. In the current version, the access hatch will be situated approximately two rings below the dispenser, just above the forward dome section of the fuel tank. Regarding its purpose, we may need further specific details to make an accurate guess. At the bottom right corner, the fasteners used to install the heat shell panels appear to remain unchanged from the current version. This implies that the size of the pins will likely stay the same, despite previous indications suggesting the use of smaller pins. While the smaller pins may not be visible in the main body section, they are expected to be utilized in intricate components such as the flap or nose cone. Furthermore, there is another rounded cutout situated on the right side of the door. This cutout could potentially serve as the connection point for the chopstick mechanism, which is responsible for lifting the ship. Previously, this connection point was in proximity to the nose cone, suggesting that SpaceX might have relocated it to a lower position. This adjustment will likely contribute to maintaining balance when the chopstick lifts the larger starship in the new version. To be honest, these details make us feel excited and hopeful for a potential new version in the future. But we still have to think that this is just speculation. SpaceX could upgrade even more than we think with the new rings unveiled in the future. Hopefully, SpaceX soon confirms these changes. However, there are certain features like Starship V2 which will surely improve upon Starship V1 as promised by Elon Musk. So what can we expect from V2? What's going to make these changes special? In fact, there hasn't been any official information about Starship V2 publicly disclosed by SpaceX, but we have quite a few clues from the great CEO Elon Musk. At the end of 2023, Musk clearly revealed the emergence of Starship V2 and the end of Starship V1. Based on these details, we can make some informed speculations. One notable change is the increase in propulsion fuel capacity. Musk previously stated that the Starship would be elongated by an additional 10 meters or 33 feet. This change would make the upper stage less reliant on the Super Heavy booster, allowing the booster to return to Earth faster or reach higher orbits without requiring additional fuel. Although there is no physical evidence of this change yet, we anticipate that a longer prototype will appear soon. Parallel to this, we can't help but recall Elon's conversation on X in 2021 about the addition of three extra engines for these longer ships. Starship V2 will mark the first time nine Raptor engines are combined on the vehicle completing SpaceX's long-term goal. The addition of three more Raptor vacuum engines within Starship will enhance its power, potentially increasing its payload capacity by about 50% and raising its orbital lift capacity from 150 tons to 220 tons. By expanding the number of engines and extending the propellant tanks to hold more propellants, SpaceX aims to enhance Starship's capabilities for various space missions. According to Elon, another important aspect of the V2 generation is reducing dry mass. They're getting lighter. This can be achieved by doing two things. First, simply remove unnecessary parts. After all, the best part is no part. The second is changing the materials used to manufacture the Starship. 
Advancements in metallurgy have been quite successful in allowing companies like Relativity Space and NASA to work together with lighter metals to create things like engine shells and aircraft body structures. However, there's no information available on whether SpaceX intends to test some of these exciting new technologies to reduce weight or if they've found alternative ways to lighten their multi-stage vehicles. Nevertheless, they certainly need to consider reducing the weight of the Starship if they intend to achieve better lifting capabilities. Definitely not composite carbon. Currently, SpaceX mainly uses 3.97 mm 304L or stainless steel, but for many years, we've seen evidence of a shift to 3.6 mm steel. Cutting off a few millimeters can change the game in terms of Starship's performance and efficiency. This provides the advantage of adding several tons of payload and saving hundreds of thousands of dollars in material costs per prototype. Perhaps with V2, we might also see a combination approach, using thinner steel and less structurally demanding parts. In the first orbital test flight of Starship, the structural integrity was impressively validated. The rocket did not rupture under high G-load during the entire flight, which was designed to be reasonably ambitious. After all, the construction of the spacecraft in the second and third launches has helped SpaceX demonstrate its expertise in its manufacturing process. But they still have much time left with the Starship V-1 variant, including S-29, S-30, S-31, and S-32. The final four spacecraft will allow them to delve deeper into their research this year and give them time to build confidence in the hardware, leading to a better version of Starship. If possible, Starship V2 could be ready for launch by mid-2025 when SpaceX completes the final Starship V1. Finally, Musk mentioned that V2 will improve the rocket's reliability. In past flights, Super Heavy's engines faced issues post-liftoff and even after separation, hinting at potential glitches in the second stage. Addressing these concerns is imperative for stable flight performance in Starship V2. The stage is set for the anticipated arrival of Raptor 3, poised to replace its predecessor. These new engines will have increased thrust and specific impulse, meaning Raptor V3 may be even more powerful and efficient. The existing Raptor 2 engines deliver 230 tons of thrust, while the anticipated thrust from the upcoming Raptor 3 engine is approximately 269 tons, signifying a 17% enhancement. It's speculated that the new engines are so powerful that they don't need shielding at all. Shielding the heat shield signifies a streamlined engine, optimized to withstand searing temperatures and pressures without leaks. This strategic upgrade aims to sidestep engine failures, reduce excess weight, and enhance engine gimbal flexibility. This could be a significant cost savings for future prototypes. In general, the emergence of Starship V2 has marked a new milestone on SpaceX's future path. With the capabilities of the new version, it'll certainly significantly enhance performance and accomplish even greater goals. While some enhancements have been hinted at, there's a promise of more revelations on the horizon. SpaceX seems pressed for an official version to undertake critical missions, such as lunar landings and the ultimate goal of reaching Mars. The anticipation for Starship V2 is palpable. Following the sequence of test flights, including the second one, SpaceX gears up for subsequent missions where the spotlight might shine on the more robust Starship V2. With this upgraded iteration, carried dreams and aspirations in space exploration will soar, carrying the collective hopes of SpaceX and humanity into a realm where numerous obstacles await. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.